All right, let's take a look at photos. So here I am in my large cloud photo collection, and I have great search here. So I have all my suggestions, but I can also start typing. And you notice I get matches on location and time period, but also on album. So here I have Beach Day with Mandy, and I can tap right in there, look through these nice photos. Let's take a look. Those are some good ones. Now, that's a photo that I think has potential, but it's really quite dark and kind of washed out. But fortunately, we have these great smart editing controls that I can use to fix it up. So I'm gonna bring up our levels, and you notice I have levels for light and color down there at the bottom. I'm gonna tap on light, and I get this great smart light meter. Now I can just drag this across like this, and it lightens up the photo really nicely. So I can dial that in just the way I want. But what's happening under the hood is really amazing. You notice that to achieve the lightning effect, it brought brightness and contrast up, exposure and highlights down, and shadows up based on detailed image analysis of what would achieve that effect. Now I could go in and I could manually try to tweak those parameters, I have that level of control, but I don't need to because it does such a great job. Now I also have that control for color. So I can just drive up the color for instance, bring out the sky and the skin tones, and now look at the difference of what we've been able to achieve before, after. It's really awesome. Now what's really great is that my edits, of course, immediately went up to my cloud photo library, and so they're available to all my devices. So let's take a look at my iPad. So here's my iPad. Now I'm gonna go into my favorites album, and we notice that right now in favorites, I don't have uh, that picture because I didn't favorite it. But now that I've made those nice edits, the picture's looking great. I think I'll make it one of my favorites. I'll just tap on my iPhone on the little heart, and you notice that it appears automatically here on my iPad. So I can go into that photo right here. Now we have those same editing controls tailored for iPad. So I'm gonna go in to do a, a crop, and do a kind of extreme close-up crop here like this. Hit done. And of course these changes are gonna go up live to my iCloud photo library and they go right across to my phone. <laughs> so of course you may be wondering, what about the Mac? Well, good news, we are working on a new grounds up photo solution for the Mac, built with iCloud in mind. Now it's gonna be shipping early next year, but I'd like to give you a sneak peek now. All right. So let's take a look at photos on the Mac. So you see I get beautiful buttery scrolling here. I have my moments right here. I can pinch out if I want from moments to collections and all the way out to years. I can scrub through my photos like this, even in year view. And if I find a photo I like, just let go and I zoom right in. You watch as I magnify this photo, the interplay with the title bar, it's really gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, browse through these a little bit. Now here's a photo that is, looks really like it's got some potential, but it could use some brightening up. It can have these same kinds of adjustments. You notice here, I have these light and color meters. Well, I can disclose these controls so we can watch what happens in real time as I make the lighting adjustment. And notice how some of these are going up and some are going down to create this effect. It's really great. I can do the same with color. Let's just boost the color bring out the sky, bring out the skin tones. And it's that easy, the new Photos app, to really create beautiful images. And that's a quick preview of photos coming to Yosemite in the future and to the new photo solution with iCloud Photo Library coming with iOS 8. Woo!